what up boys we got some rain this week and we've had kind of a busy week so we didn't get to get the uh, ds650 and raptor footage yet but it is coming next week probably gonna do it tomorrow morning got your raptor 660 valve adjustment in this video yfz 450 valve shimming in this video me and little raygon putting this rencon 680 together and lots more get up in there boys you wanted some banshee merch that's your first shot of time machine shirt with a banshee on it right there did it right we got a message from teresa david man i know you're going through a lot right now i wanted to give you a shout out you'd be the first one that gets one of these new stunners on or time machine shirts so we're going to mail this to you man we wanted to give you a shout out we appreciate you watching and keep your head up man both of you appreciate you david Boys joke Friday. A whole ass Rincon in the back seat. Oh, that'll be a fun one. So this is the old 680 right here, boys. Rincon 680. Dag gummer. Four stroke Fridays. Just pick this up. Hop on, buddy. Lift this up and put it into drive. Go forward. Push it. There you go. Now see over here, it's got auto or, or electric shift. So if you leave it on auto, it'll shift on its own. If you put it on electric shift, you push these to shift it. Right, so Just leave it on auto. Pull it into the shop. Use your hand brakes, remember? That's good. All right. Appreciate it, guys. If it's your first time watching the channel, be sure and get up in there, like, and subscribe. Four Stroke Friday, we're doing a little different this time. It's going to be four-wheel drive. What up, Reagan? What up? Let me spin this camera around so you can see what we're dealing with. Oh, yeah. 680cc Honda here. Push button four-wheel drive. Push button shift. Or... You can just switch it to auto and it'll shift itself. Pick that up and set it there. Don't let these unplug, buddy. Oh. Four-wheel drive, independent rear and front, independent, you know, most four-wheel drives have independent front suspension. Independent rear suspension on this bad boy, ball hitch, 680 cc's. Motors turn, they're monstrous quads. They got a lot of power. So we're gonna get in here, get our plastics on it, get everything mounted back where it goes and do some inventory on these boxes see what we even got. Come here, Reagan. I want you to take these pieces out and set them on the floor so we can see what all we got. We got the front fender for sure. There's a back fender. Two boxes of crap for this thing. Keep going. There's a whole box. And this battery smells like eggs and it's smoking and it popped open. So that's plenty of charge. So we picked this four-wheeler up. We're getting all the pieces out of it. We've got the racks in the bed of the truck I need to get. A lot of stuff got to go back on this bad boy. So hopefully it's self-explanatory. We'll see. So Reagan is learning how some push rivets go. Guys, look at this. Got the front plastic going on. He had a whole new package of push rivets in here. So we're popping all these in. We're getting her done, boys. Has to go under that, remember? Careful. There you go. Then get this under there. There you go. And then it should slide forward and lock in, did it? Yep. yep. Cool. Now we put in the tabs. Let's start with one right here. Mm -hmm. Push. Oh, wait, look it. We almost missed it. See these two pieces? I got to buckle in first. Here, hold the phone. These have to go in to the fender as well, and they lock in. Then this locks in here. We put these tabs in, pull them out a little. Oops. Put it in locker in that's a little smaller than what i'd really like for it but they are working all right me and little ray going been working about 20 minutes at her in her put together get the engine side covers on the foot wells on back fenders this side cover now we're gonna keep her going you're going backwards watch where you're going let's see you use your brake Good job, buddy. What you think of that big old thing? It's pretty big. Keep going. Mm 
Go ahead. You all right? Go ahead. Big rock. That's a tiny rock. It's a big four wheeler. Go on. He knows it don't have brakes, right? about three minutes before this uh in the video realized we're missing a shit ton of trim out of this box and i'm just punting this four-wheeler i don't want to wait on trim for a few weeks somebody can take it and do their thing on hunting season i'll make me a little money off of it and uh we'll use it in the meantime let's jump onto this raptor 660 valve adjustment pretty simple stuff pretty much the same procedure on the yfz remove these two caps off your flywheel cover with a flathead be careful boys Pull your spark plug out. If you got a dirty head up here, hit it with the air compressor. Get all that dirt and shit out of there so it don't drop into your valve cover when you take off the cap, the covers. Then basically you take off this cover. But Oh, bold, bold you, cotton. We're getting a cross pattern. We're doing this cam guide style. You want to sandwich the right side then the left. What are you talking about? It's just a cover. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm just telling them they're not supposed to. Uh oh. And you had this, you're supposed to do it in forward to snap them off like everybody does before we get the bikes. Yep. Think bike we just got. I think not bike we're trying to fix. I think they do it on purpose. Yeah, no. So there you got your three. They look fine. Boo boo kachoos. I wonder how it looks. No? We gotta get it oh, look top at that. centered. Look at that though. Yeah, that's true. These are moving a lot now. So we got that one off. Then your two exhaust ones are over here with the spark plug. Pull those we're gonna pull a spark plug we're gonna pull those caps and then these are adjustable hopefully unless they're ruined so boys you take your daggone feeler gauge and you run it up you want you a 10 between a uh, 10 millimeter and a 15 point 10 millimeter and a 15 and you feel right in underneath this there she blows oil everywhere yeah no, I meant like oh. you, you had it on point, oh, yeah. but it's just hard to get in there so how weak it is. So guys, uh, we checked these and they all seem to be good. They're all within within spec, which is supposed to be between 10 and 15. Which doesn't make sense. Well, these exhaust ones may just be the ones that are fucked. Which, it, honestly, it could just be a carb issue, man. I mean, it does haul ass. Yeah. And it seems to start pretty easy. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the exhaust side, fellers. He's trying to hide what he did. No, no, no. no. Don't forget about this pin. Uh, so the we got two, pump, the, the carb's been leaking. We cleaned it. Nah, this one me. This you or Davis me. cleaned that the other day. Yeah, this one me, it. Whole ass main jet just laying in the fucking, just laying in here. I'm so glad it did, well, it wouldn't be able to eat it, I don't guess. So we also have this float pin that's a little wonky. I say we don't even mess with adjusting the floats, or what do you think? I don't think we need to. I think this just needs Between to. that and the bowl nut, yeah. I think it was meant to leak. Dag gum, boys. This was, this is a... Somebody, somebody did that on purpose. I don't know why Blake would. I would. I didn't do that. Oh, I know. Blake's got to show it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why Blake would do that to himself. He does that on the electric start bikes. Yeah. Not the kick start bikes. No, no. <laughs> so what do you think, dog? This Raptor going to run, or... There was a couple things. There was somebody, whoever got into this car blast, you know, they, we was smoking that holiday special. They, yeah, they, they were on that tacky. <laughs> smoking some of that tacky, boy. Because they left the main jet out. Did you get another bowl nut? Yeah. Or did you, though? Yeah, I did. I didn't put it on. But I <laughs> yeah, I got one. Well, you got a hundred of them. It's not on, though. Dudes, we think she's gonna rip now because we found a couple little issues. <laughs> issues. Couple issues. I'm not gonna get into two specifics. <laughs> couple whoops a daisies. Who did it? Picked a whole. <laughs> Let's not even worry about who or why or what or or why or who or or how. Yeah. Or why? We're just gonna uh, be uh, Austin. Yeah, we're just gonna. We're just happy it's gonna fucking rip today. We went through the valves, that wasn't it. <laughs> but we think it's going to rip now. We're confident in that. 
Because it was ripping before and uh, it should have not have been. So, man, this has got the gator. Fuel's on, huh? Yep. We obviously gotta do this chain, but we're gonna we're gonna do that here in a minute. Just need grease. Guys, there was a lot of there was a lot of mess, a lot of haste. We just wanted to ride it, I think. Sure. So that's all that was. All right, boys, new plug. She was a little fluted, a little flooded. So we're hoping that's it. She in good? Yeah. Stroke Friday type stuff, dudes. Hammer down. The other day it was mean as shit and it was so loaded up too so i'm hoping that means that today should be even more balling yeah i'm gonna get the seat off bro we got us a daggone new twin air filter for the pro flow intake you think we should put a longer hose on this here it's got fuel coming out of it longer hose on what like put a hose on this to the air box. Uh, that might just be leftover fuel that was in there. Oh, right. Almost done, boys. Floor coming soon. They're on the pole over there right now, getting, getting the. Uh, they're on the pole. New stuff. Yeah, they're sitting on it. Uh, Four stroke Friday, huh? On so, Monday. Rincon 680. Damn. So you you got her in fully. You got this, it's full auto. It's pew 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 or pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. It's better than put than button shifting it. And I got it on two wheel. Two wheel, hill, wheel. I like shifting. I like shifting. So is this one the uh, left tire and this one the right tire? Yeah. Dude, you don't even feel a shift, huh? We put the players in some water the other day, guys. We're not gonna do this one like that. That's pretty crazy, because all the other ESs I've had, the electric shift, I don't like. Bro, you can't feel a shift, can you? Dude, not much. She's only got one gear. Yeah, no. Damn. Yeah, pretty oh no. Torquey, dude. Yeah. Does it feel like it's got power steering? Yeah, it feels nice, dude. It's like, when you, yeah, when you're stopped, like, you can't really feel it. When you're moving, it's easy. We don't have, we have a lot more plastic for it, but we don't have all of it. We have the headlights and the taillights, the racks. But I'm selling it like this, guys. It's running. If they want it for the deer lease, then they can make it ready for the deer lease. It's also got a yanker start right here. You want to try giving that a pull? Never pull started to 680 before? <laughs> Just hit me in the face. <laughs> I wish it didn't look so hideous. Yeah. We could make some fenders. That feels a lot better than a player stone. Oh, yeah. You can tell. <laughs> Any five or seven hundred. I was like, hey, I could actually drive this somewhere, not, you know. Right, take right it riding. To the shop. Oh, yeah, it'd be fun riding. I didn't get it going like that, though, but I seen, like, even when you were going, yeah. it had to have shifted two or three times. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're doing That's like why 30 I went over here. the driveway and then went over here. <laughs> Damn, dude, that thing, it eats. Yeah, used to, man. They would go, ah, and then. 
bah, you'd fucking just like if you foot shifted it and you didn't let off the gas. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I always, whenever I would ride them, I would give it gas, let off, and hope it shifted. Yeah. Give it more gas. I think I. How about you drop in off of this cliff into the gravel? Uh, drop in. Yeah, drop in. <laughs> this loose gravel. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> Just throw it into the pool. <laughs> Look at the size of this three wheeler compared to this one. That gum. That's a pit bike for you. Oh, a little sticky throttle action. Henry, the fuck did you do? So you go out there and you get in the pond and you get a big mess and I send you to your bed and then you didn't want to get your bed wet so you came in here and you just dab off on all Reagan's clothes. Get out. Get out of here. Gone. All right, boys. First step on a good old valve adjustment. We're going to check the timing on this thing and adjust the valve. So... We're going to pull the front plastic off, the seat off, a couple other things, and uh, we're going to have to get up in there just like you guys should do. And this is going to be more of a tutorial. We're actually going to give you guys a good old how, how do you do. And you don't adjust the valves on a YFZ. No, you shim them. You shim them. And I ain't talking about no Bruce Jenner. And it, I'm talking about that, not that kind of shim. Different kind of shim. Different kind of shim. As long as it's... It's better than that, then we're good. We're great. <laughs> we're good. We're great. We want it to run like vintage Bruce Jenner's. Back when he was in the Olympics. Yeah, oh yeah. Now this is a that's, huge that's battery I've upgraded to. And this is the symptom we're getting here, boys. Brand new huge battery. Slow ass crank. So we got a couple things on the way. We got a diode on the way for it. Two diodes on the way for it. We got a new starter solenoid, a new starter just in case. And we are yeah. Gonna check the timing in the valves real quick. We probably just need to put a new uh, crank in it. Probably. Another new one? Yeah. Yeah. You mean sell it? No. You mean punt it? No, that's just another like 900 something bucks. Yeah. Yeah, no. Plus a week of work. Alright, so we're gonna tear the fenders that, off. Like 12 bucks? 12 bucks, yeah. 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 Alright, so here we go, dudes. We're ripping into her. Hardcore. So, the other day, this is for you guys. Hey, got to grab the phone so I can take a video real quick. Hard to work with the phone in my hand. Got a GoPro 9 I brought out here a second ago to set it up so you can watch us work. SD card failure. So, wife's working on that. Somebody the other day had the nerve to tell me, did you see the wee 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 comment? Uh-uh. Saying that uh, in the YMZ video, I keep saying wee wee wee, but he ain't seen me do a lick of work. Then I told him, bro, you must not watch the channel. Like, uh, you seriously must not watch the channel. Like... What are you even talking about? He said, I watch it. Oh, he said, dude, said we, we, we all the time. Yeah. And I said, oh, you watch the channel all the time. Don't even know my fucking name. So if that's the kind of respect you got for me, I'm going to let you dude. keep watching because it's for you anyways. I just went ahead and hushed him from the comments so I don't have to hear it no more. But this is me taking time out of my busy fucking day, picking up the phone every time to get y'all some videos for little haters like that. You think that makes things go quicker? No. You think picking it up? Well, do you not realize that every time I set the phone down and I pick it back up, we're so far ahead. We're like, we moved in the build so far down the road. And then I pick the phone up, get y'all another video. And honestly, I want to use a GoPro, but it's a piece of shit and editing the fucking videos sucks. And then somebody's going to say I'm using a, po a potato to film with. Yep. So here you go. We plan on having the GoPro out here for this. Oh, I'm going to have to have my phone in my hands this whole time until we get it figured out. And uh, so we can do this valve adjustment. So bite me. With with no with no due respect, bite me. With the utmost disrespect. Right. Yeah, with the utmost disrespect. Kiss my ass. I need a ten over here. So here's where we're at on this thing, guys. I don't want to tell you guys how to take all your plastic off. Honestly, if you guys don't know how to take your plastic off, stay the hell out of. The, don't even open the engine. Don't open it. So if you guys can't look at it and figure it out. So we're gonna skip that step. We moved ahead, we're inspecting some stuff here. We got two headlight wires that are undone. 
We have this mother that's just hanging out, pissing me off. And then this diode we're going to replace. Oh, there's two diodes. Oh, see, this one goes to the fan, Blake. That's probably why it wasn't on. I wonder if that yeah. blue wire is undone. So it needs to be hooked into something. Yeah. I'm going to check out a wiring harness diagram in our book over there in a second. But basically, get your plastics off. Get your tank off. You don't have to take this off, but the more room, the better, to be honest with you. So get that off. We're going to get this other fender off. And we can adjust the valves right here in the frame. Ah, shim the valves. We can check the valves. We can look at the valves. We can check the timing. Now we're get, there's one more at the very bottom. Now that we're getting the plastic off, next thing we're going to do before we even open the engine up is set the flywheel at top dead center. And we're going to assume that that's going to set the valves at top dead center, but it really depends because it's got to be in time for that to be the case, which we do believe is, we do think it's in time. Like we put it in time, so, but it could be very slightly off, I guess. I did, it, I did advance it. What we're going to do, we're going to pull these flat head, this tab right here, and this tab right here. And we're going to get her set up to top bit. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and pull the spark plug. All right, dude, it's a big flat head. Pull these two, this one and this one. You're going to need you a light, most likely. We've got them up there in the magnetic bowl, even though they're not metal. So now, we got the spark plug out. We're going to put a socket wrench on this, and we're going to set the crank to top dead center. Then we're gonna pull our valve cover and see what's what. We're crossing our fingers that it's just a little out of time because honestly, <clears throat> shimming it would take more work. So if the valves are out of spec, plus we're waiting on the parts, but I don't know that I can see in there. Let me give me a light, maybe turn on the light, hold on. So you put your uh, socket on there. You're gonna turn this, you're gonna turn it until that notch lines up with the line in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to take a better look at it. It looks like we need to go a hair more, Blake. Uh, maybe I'm getting a bad look. You need to do it at. I got my Which nails. Nail? I got all of them. I got the manual out. Let's see what the exact specs are. Oh, oh, I got oh. I got a shim kit coming, guys. Hoping we don't need it. But I also have a new starter coming and a bunch of other stuff. It's in time. We were we had it in time. Exhaust cam went in first, right on the line. And the other one here, same thing with the intake cam. So it's in time, there's no doubt about that. This is still on the exact mark. So we're in time for sure, boys. Uh, now what we're gonna do is check the valve clearances and see if that's what our, if we get a tight valve or, or if it just needs a whole ass head. So basically on these valve shims, you take your shim and you replace it between the cam lobe and the bucket. And you say this far side one is pretty loose? Yeah, here, check this out. So this one's like perfect. Right. It's got good tension. Middle one, I can't get it to go through. I, it's getting stuck, so gotcha. I think it's tight. And then this one just... It's loose as hell. So oh, it needs a valve oh. shimming for sure. What we're going to do, you can see it's just the way to find out, guys, is we take a bigger shim and we keep adding it in there until we can't no more. Or a bigger, uh, those are shims. Feeler gauge. Feeler, bigger figure, feeler gauge until we can't no more. And then we write it down. And then when we see what shim's actually in there, see, so that's way out of spec. How big is that one? Uh, 0.35 millimeters. The other one was 0.10. It's supposed to be at like 0.10 to 0.15. What gauge what gauge were you using? 0.15. Gotcha. So that one's out of spec big time. Let's get us a we need a piece of paper, Blake. Yeah. And a pen. So boys, check this out. We're gonna show you how. So you guys, we get the head off, we get the cams off, checking the valve clearances. Turns out one of these bad boys didn't have a shim in it. So we uh, acts like it's my fault. So, so we got to try and figure it out. You know what I mean? But you know, we had these shims in here. We're going to upgrade to these and hopefully this mystery shim will be close. Hopefully that get, get us close. Otherwise we're going to take off the damn cam again, but we'll see. So we're going to step it up to 180 and 180 for both of these. So you get your valve Back shim kit. Day, we didn't do no math and no numbers. I got the Hong Tong Chin Chong Road Passion. 
One. I mean, you could try to get your finger in there and twist it. Doesn't seem stuck. That one does. No. That one does. They're not stuck. I just want to make sure they're not, nothing's gouged. Like, you know what I mean? They'll oh, turn. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to inspect the cams a last time. None of that looks worn or jacked up. We need to clean it a little bit, but that all looks fine. I did. I got to put this phone down, guys. Boys, construction's almost done. Just insulated it. All the trim's on. The doors are on. The electric, electric's all done inside. We got trench to it next week and hook it to the power pole. And uh, the floors are being done next week as well. She finished. This YFZ's almost done too, boy. Yeah. So we're getting this YFZ back together. Shim the valves as best we could. Uh, we didn't have one shim that we needed, so waiting on the other ones, it is however running. Um, we're about to get y'all some riding footage tomorrow morning. Shit, get up in there. Here's the, here's the thing about four stroke right, fixing four strokes. You really can't even have the time to ride your dag on two stroke or your four stroke because they ain't gonna run. So, what, what's the point? Weld them? Oh, yeah, tri you tried to lose them. You did. You, did. you, you, you hit, hit it fast. You did. <laughs> okay, you, you dropped it out, out of bounds, dude. Dropped out of shit. What's up, fellas? Uh oh. Damn, look like Blake hooked to this one up. Oh, look at this little kid didn't hook his trailer up right. Oh, no. Damn it. Should I help him real quick? Oh, In 1.7 miles, him. turn left onto I was Echo. totally gonna help him. The guy's already helping him. Oh, looks like you guys got figured out the answer to be quick enough. Bye. Dang, dude's gotta go back for a Polaris in the morning. Cha. O2 400EX, not in bad shape. Let's see. Sound good to me, buddy. Been sitting, dude. Headlights got a little bit of silicone on it. I haven't washed it, I haven't done shit. I'm sure you could clean it up, bro. Nice stunners on her with the Yamaha Banshee on it, guys. So got the artwork done. We got 40 of them available. You can buy them at the bottom of this video. And uh, get up in there, dudes. Picked up this 400DX today. I'm just going to flip it as is. I don't feel like waiting on sprockets and a chain for it. And I already have two 400DXs in there that are ready to ride and aren't selling. And uh, so I'm just going to list her as is. I already did, as a matter of fact. Fires up a starting fluid. Gonna need the carb going through, chain sprockets, battery, and some love, man. She's a little, she's a little dirty, a little dingy, but pretty slick quad. Has a lot of potential there. What's up, you guys? Got some dinner cooking and uh, get up in there next Friday because we're gonna get that 660 and 650 video posted up for you. So maybe this YFZ too. We got another set of shims coming. I need to go down smaller in increments. We keep getting two two out of spec one way or the other so the five increments aren't getting it there it keeps on ending up like around uh 20 on the intake valve it's either you know 18 or it's eight and it ain't really working out for us so it needs to be between 10 and 15 so we're waiting on one one more shim kit and uh the raptors ripping and the 650s ripping so i'm sure we got a couple other four strokes we can throw in the mix <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Get up in there, boys, tomorrow. This modded Raptor 660. What? If y'all been watching the channel, you already know what this mod can and will do. HMF, big gun rev box, a lot of other stuff. 
Four Stroke Fridays, man. We try to make it as good as we can. You know what I mean? Appreciate you dudes. Maybe even some two strokes, hell, even though it's four stroke Friday, but I appreciate you guys get up in there. Lots more to come and uh, check out some other videos on the channel. Share with your people.